Greetings, folks. Welcome to class. We're here today to learn about audio-based lip-sync in FaceRig. This is a feature enabling you to sync the avatar's mouth movement with your voice. It makes a huge difference when you use it right. A little bit of training is required in order to make the most of this tool. Allow me to show you how it should and shouldn't look like before we get started. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now let's get going. Click this icon to enable audio-based lip sync. If your avatar moves its mouth when you're not speaking, this means you should calibrate the background noise threshold. To do so, you should make sure that your microphone will capture nothing but background noise for a couple of seconds. When you're ready to start, go to the Advanced UI, General Options, Sounds, and hit the Auto Calibrate Noise button. If a voice is picked up during calibration, you may also notice that your avatar suddenly decides not to open its mouth on a certain sound. This short loss can also be fixed by properly calibrating your noise level. The last thing you may notice is a bit of lag between what you are saying and the avatar's reaction. You can compensate for this delay in two ways. Before we do anything else, let's check your microphone's virtual effects. Many recording devices come, by default, with a lot of effects like echo or noise cancellation. These effects can add delays to your voice before it even reaches face rig. Disabling them should lower the amount of delay significantly. If that is not enough, you should use the delay slider inside the face rig. The sound delay slider makes sure that the audio output from the movie clips you create will be in sync with the avatar. Just keep talking and move the slider until it seems perfectly in sync. It's mostly a trial and error process. That's all for today, folks. See you next time when we'll learn how to properly calibrate our avatars to get the most realism and expressivity out of them. Happy rigging!